Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre-Market Report for October 17th, 2016. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. We continue to trade within the key range. Here's the midpoint, 2174475. We've got the top 2190, the bottom 2100. That's a 90 handle range right there. And we've been in that range since, uh, you know, second week of uh, September. And basically, we only recently made a move to the edge of the range here last week. We got a ball to move down, ball to move back up, and then kind of a push back down. So again, it kind of demonstrates the point here that this range has not really been uh, favorable to swing traders right now, but the energy is being built. As of right now, I mean, it, it, it's quite volatile. It's hard to say either way. I could make a case here that uh, bears are going to run the stops down. I could make a case that this thing's going to go up. And when I can do that, typically speaking, I got to stay away and just kind of continue to watch this thing develop and, and look for high probability opportunities. Right now, it's obvious that you're seeing tails at the bottom end of this range near 2120. So you can see that there's bulls down here eager to buy and return prices back up. Uh, you also have bears here who have defended uh, and taken 4475 offered, then defended it on multiple rotations. So there's buy stops above that zone. So obviously 2120 is going to be very important today. Any failure to hold above that level opens up new lows. Um, if that level is defended, watch for a push higher and see where, where resistance comes in. You have a, a lower value relationship with the pivot range, close below the current uh, pivot range. So typically speaking, any push into the pivot range is usually a selling opportunity for another round of weakness ahead. So we could be looking at another push downward here, uh, especially if 2120s can't hold. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on this. Again, nothing super certain right now in either direction, and that makes this a very difficult range to trade at the moment. If we drop down into the intraday, again, the intraday moves have been fairly good, uh, especially coming out of the summer, coming out of September. We've had some very, very decent intraday swings and moves, which is uh, much better than the swing trading game at the moment. Right now you can see we have uh, a digestion range that's playing off right here. Previous sessions close, previous weeks close. Both of those same level right now being offered on the bottom end down here. Again, 2120, 2119, bulls defending. So right now you have a two-sided range here. And I would say uh, fade new highs, fade new lows at the moment. Any failure to keep prices below this previous week's close squeezes this thing back up. So let's continue to watch the previous close here and watch this two-way traded range here. Uh, fade new highs, fade new lows could be the ticket at least short term until we see directional conviction. All right, let's take a look here at crude oil. Here's crude, if I bring up the daily time frame of crude, uh, one thing you'll notice is that price is holding up here near these highs uh, and has not really rejected just yet. You know, we have the key level at 50 half and then we have the top up here at 51.67 and there's been this little alleyway here where uh, bears have come in to defend on multiple uh, multiple occasions here. The last time we saw it go offered and then absorption come in and right now we're still hanging around that area. It makes it quite difficult right now to kind of see what's going on at the moment uh, if you take those levels away but 50 half to 51.67 that's the zone where bears are actively defending at the moment trying to see if they can get this thing rotated back toward value, which is 46.69. At the moment, bulls have been able to keep prices on these highs after the aggressive push up. So still, any push into 49s could be a buying opportunity for bulls looking to squeeze up. Failure to hold 49s could rotate this thing right back down. So right now, working on an inside day here as we head into RTH. We'll continue to watch this for uh, swing movement, but we're right at a key edge, which is very important. Uh, if we take a look at the intraday time frame now, you can see right here, 50 half has been an important level. You can see the key level right there, 50 half. And so far, prices are testing that level at the moment after taking the previous session and previous week's close bid. Prices were below the previous session's close in overnight and after hours or pre-market trading. And then now you've seen it push above the close. So this is going to be an important pivot right here. I would say that 50-30, if price pulls back, uh, that's an area where bulls want to defend for a continuation toward 50-80 to 51. Any failure to hold above this zone could lead to more, more chop between 49.90 and 50-60. All right, let's take a look now at gold futures. 
If you take a look at gold right now, something you'll notice is that um, while we mentioned that 1252s was an area where absorption was occurring, I also mentioned that it uh, was not showing great signs uh, of showing a reversal. Um, usually when you form some sort of rejection tail here, you don't want the rejection on top, so that was the first cue. Number two, 52s, you weren't seeing the lift that you want to see immediately. Instead, we went sideways one, two, three, four days. And my rule is typically after the third day, if it's not going, typically on that fourth day, it's not going to go. So you want this thing to start moving off your absorption point the first two, three days. If not, you typically see the stops get run. And that's kind of what's happening right now. Uh, we're holding at these lows. 1245 is an important level. We continue to hold below 1268. This is what I mentioned. 1268 is the level that bulls need to get above in order to squeeze. And they have not been able to even sniff the level, let alone break it. So uh, 68 is very important this week, as is 1245. A breakout from this range could spark the next move. And again, as I mentioned before, the longer it takes to try and push higher, I think the more likelihood creeps into the market that you actually go lower instead. So watch the range, 1245 to 1268. Okay, lastly, let's take a look at the NQ. The NQ, I've moved a key level. I had a key level at 4820, which has been a very important level, 4820, but I moved it up to 4840. This one's much more appropriate now because you see the edges and you see the tails right at that level. And then price goes up and chops and tries to hold above it and fails here. So then they take it off for these two times and trap here. So 4840 is very, very important, and right now bears are currently actively defending that area, trying to keep late bulls uh, above that zone trapped. If they can continue to keep 4840 uh, offered here, the expectation would be a push downward toward the next uh, key levels below, 4730, 4690, and as low as 4625. So right now... 4840 is very, very important. Bulls need to get price above that level in order to get this thing going higher. And the longer that this thing remains offered, the, the more likelihood is that you start to hunt for these recent lows. So again, nothing super clear or clean about an actionable idea at the moment, but we have some key levels to watch as we progress throughout the rest of the week. Looking at the intraday time frame right here. Uh, one thing you'll notice about the intraday time frame is that prices are trading below the previous close. Here's the previous close. Anytime you're trading be below the previous close like that, um, I always watch that close because if you're not getting paid, if those bears are short, 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 but they're not getting paid, prices aren't going lower, the stops tend to come out. And if the stops are going to come out, here's the previous low, if the stops are going to come out above the close, then typically speaking, you go back toward the high. That's 4840. So that's the key 4840 level. So again, 4802 is going to be very important. Bears are trying to keep it offered. Any squeeze above it gets you five-day VPOC at 4817 with a shot to retest 4840. All right, that's it for now. Let's see how this thing plays out heading into the new week of trading. Good luck and trade well.